but we're going to do this quick and cause uh but we're we're able to give out some really meaningful grants here and these are given to the primarily to the areas that were affected by the 2016 flood but this is federal dollars that are coming to help us upgrade stormwater sewer, sewer systems and lots of stuff lots of stuff to to get us to move stuff to areas that you know are, are, are not endangered by a floodplain or whatever but uh, there's a bunch of them and a bunch of you've come a long way and we had two here for Marshall and the Marshall people we couldn't get them to come all the way here but uh, but nevertheless the other thing I want to do is this and Jordan is from our office and Rebecca's here and Nathan's here you know somewhere I guess but uh, but here's here's my discussion from yesterday you know I said look we could have we could have all these people zoom in to Charleston to make it easier. You know, today I left Lewisburg, I went to Charleston, and I had a meeting in Charleston and everything. I left there, I went to Minden, or to, or to Oak Hill, now to here, now we're going to Marlington, then we're going to Alderson. And so, now, the reason, and I think that's really important, is this. I think other than, you know, Morgantown, Martinsburg, you know, Parkersburg, whatever it may be, I really believe that you need to see your governor, you know. And your governor needs to come to the small communities and see you and everything. And uh, we have a delegate with us today, and, and you know, I don't know who all else is here, but but uh, to me, you're what makes the engine run. And I, I mean that with all my soul. If you knew me well, you know I don't blow smoke at anybody. And uh, I don't have time to do it. All I can do is tell you what I think and tell you the truth as best I can. And I'm really proud, proud, proud to be able to be here and especially be able to give out all this money because it's real money. That's all there is to it. But, I'm going to start with, uh, these numbers are so big, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine, really, but West Virginia Community Development Block Grant Hazard Mitigation, this is to certify that a grant for $3,174,000 has been awarded to the town of Craigsville. So that's good stuff. Let's get our picture made anyway. Right, that sounds good. Thank you. Oh. You want one? That's really great stuff. Great. No, thank you. And this one is for a million forty-two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. That three hundred and fifty may the fifty will take you to Wendy's a couple times. <laughs> but this has been awarded to the city of Somersville. Go to Wendy's and take you with me. Right, yeah. Good to me. Sounds great to me. All right, way to go. That's Thanks. great stuff. And this one is for, you know, I mean, it, it's just when we start talking in the millions, we lose focus about the fact this is two hundred and fifty thousand uh dollars. Oh, oh gosh. And this has been awarded to Region 4 and Region 2 Planning and Development Council. That's great to do. That'll help. That'll be better. I know you, young man. Good to see you. Everything good? You're doing great. Doing great. Okay. Gracious goodness. I mean, I love this. I love this to death because these numbers are so big. I know lots and lots of good stuff's going to happen. West Virginia Community Development Block Grant, Hazard Mitigation. This is to certify that a grant of $3,880,000 to the city of Spencer. That's big money. 
money, my friend. I know it will. I know it will. That's great stuff. Great, great stuff. And this is also to the city of Spencer. Another $535,000 for the Mill Tree Number One Dam. Better get some protection on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> this is to Camp Caesar, and this is for a million five hundred and eighty-four thousand dollars. Good job. You know it's cold. Isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Oh man, I love you. You know what I love it, and this is all there is to it. I just think I I know how how I mean in that 2016 flood, you know, y'all may not believe this and everything. You may think that I set up on some pedestal and stuff all the time. And that's ridiculous. You know, I mean, I just grew up in these woods and streams and here, around here and I just I loved to hunt and fish and everything else, and when that flood hit, it was the worst of the worst thing that I've ever been around in my life. And I waded mud just like y'all did, and I absolutely saw sorrow and destruction beyond belief. The worst thing that I've ever been through in my life. We hunted six weeks for a little 14-year-old girl that had washed miles downstream. Yeah, you know, it's terrible, terrible beyond all comprehension and that's why you know when I look down and see something just like this it really brings a lot of joy to me this is and I'm gonna read the whole thing West Virginia Community Block Grant or Development Block Grant Hazard Mitigation this is a certified that a grant for four million three hundred eighty eight thousand dollars to the town of Addison it's unbelievable Do. Yeah, this is real money. That's, for sure. <laughs> That's big money, That's isn't it? Money. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you so much. This one is for two hundred twenty-nine thousand three hundred seventy-five dollars, and it's to Marshall for flood control down in the Huntington area. I don't know if anybody here. We'll get this to them, and I think this is one more same thing to Marshall. And this one is for 136000 It's for a culvert and bridge mapping at Marshall University. So, listen, I know it's cold. You know, I was, uh, as I was coming down the interstate, it was pouring the snow in Beckley when I went by Beckley early this morning. But, listen, I, I thank you for all you do. I, I you know, I, 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 in ways I cherish the memories because I don't want to forget. You know, I don't want to forget what you went through because I saw it firsthand. So, so anyway, uh, at hey, least today. Uh, hey, Governor, if I could say a word. Robert Chase from Mayor Somersville, thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. Appreciate you making the trip. But I also want to highlight that a lot of this is possible because of Region 4 Planning and Development and their staff. John Puggle and his people are here, and uh, we have a lot of gratitude towards what they do no too. Question. So, Governor, thanks for making the trip. Thanks for the yeah. the, uh, the the special visit today, and we'll certainly put this to good use. Well, thank all of you, and uh, and you're exactly right. You know, our, and I and I want to make sure I pronounce it correctly. But uh, in all these notes and everything, I just want to. It's the office, our, our Community Advancement and Development Division of West Virginia Development. You know, I don't know why y'all make your names so long and everything. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, they've done great work. You're exactly right, y'all. All right, thank y'all so much. I appreciate you. More than you'll know. So, thank you.